in this video we are going to cover the remaining uh, components uh, which are present in the secondary fields okay so let's start with button component so in this video I'm going to cover high level stuff of button so if you see the look and feel is same and here you can add the label the stylings of this so here we have those uh, styles which are provided already by Uncock but apart from that we have things which is action so this action things we will cover in the upcoming videos because for this things to understand we will require some other stuff so then we will get to know how to trigger the logic using the button components so that will be something uh, very handy to know when we know the other, other features of uncock so those things we will cover in the upcoming videos but other things like how to use button this is something we are going to cover so this is the button component and here we can add the styles of it so from the look and feel perspective we know how the button will work okay so i'm just refreshing that preview mode of that uh, module so yeah here you can see this button so if i click on this so yeah this is something coming because in the actions uh, we have uh, kept as save so the default action now of this button is to save whatever the data that we have put on the screen so that things we will cover in the upcoming videos but yeah that is why that save uh, pop-up came when we clicked on it so this is about the fix and block thing so what is this i will just quickly explain you about this so for this let me add something here which is like column so that we haven't covered but yeah this is pretty simple like this is used to add the layout so that in detail we will see in the next lecture or in the upcoming videos but yeah for explaining that fix and uh, what was that fixed and block button width property I'm just putting a column here uh, which is having two columns now so in that I will just drag and drop the button here inside this column okay so now what is there we have a fixed width right of a button so now after refreshing it how it will look is okay let it load okay so if you see it it is not making any difference in case of the width of button it is pretty uh, fixed right whatever the button width which is provided default Bangkok but if I make it to block then what you will see is like here this button will occupy all the space of that column right so the same thing will appear in the preview mode as well so let me refresh this yeah so if you see the entire column is occupied by button so that is the property fixed and block and yeah so this is about buttons uh, in this video uh, but yeah in upcoming videos we will deep dive into the other features of button and again you can just play around with this different styles if you want so button style as warning then the color of this button will change okay so this was about buttons let's go to the other pieces or the other fields which are present in the secondary field section uh, let's take the signature this is also very fancy feature to have so uh, again I will just quickly drag and drop save and close save and preview so I think many of you must have guessed right what is this uh, signature component right you might have used this, such things uh, in different forms or maybe whenever the parcel is delivered usually these things of this type of components are used we are using our fingers uh, like we can just draw anything like write a signature over here so this is the same thing which is readily available in uncock where we can just put whatever we want and other things are like changing the color background color of this sign so here we can put that rgb uh, which can change the background color and here also we can uh, set the width and height of this uh, box sign signature box we can say so this was about this and again other things again the same thing nothing difference in that so all these components right primary secondary so these are all layout based or 
UI based components, right? We haven't touched any logic part yet. How to do certain operations by clicking one button, data manipulation that we haven't covered. All these are something which are used to design a layout or a UI. So that we are covering as of now. Okay, moving on to the next one, we will go with address search. So this is something again, uh, very nice feature to have and this will be used very much in the uh, forms and other places where we want to have a, a text box uh, which will like shows the address like it will auto populate the address over here so now if I just uh, search here some address so let me put not sure I'm just writing anything over here Maybe that API which is used by default by Ancock that is not working. That is why we are not getting any results over here. Uh, and also this is training environment so might be that API is not configured now. But usually what happens is whatever we search here the address suggestions comes and we can select that address. And this is something we all use mostly this feature in the form. So this is handily I mean readily available and here we can tweak the uh, address options so if I want to show the street street to and city let's take this and save and close so what will happen it will show us these things so when, whenever we write the address here if I select any address so that selected address would be splitted into this different pieces one would be street address, street address 2 and the other one would be city and so on. We have other things also here which is like what is that show state and zip country. So that is something we use and these are something uh, the cosmetic stuff which is like no matching result and other things we can show uh, based on certain backend operations this uh, address component is doing. So this was about the address search but in the real time what will happen is like uh, we will be using the real time Google API key right okay so I think they have put here this test Google places API so if I use this test Google places API here so it will show us the address I missed that I have missed that piece of adding that API over here previously it was default added so if I now enter Pune yes it is showing us the other address also I mean all the address which are having this keyword so this is something done by Google like this is a test key is pre-configured in the training environment uh, the Google address API key I mean to say and this is working and in the real time in production environment uh, that test Google API key is replaced by the uh, production Google API key so for which the client pays the Google for it and that key something we can configure or uh, in the Uncock environment so that is not configured here but it is something configured on the admin level uh, so accordingly the APIs are fetched I mean the address are fetched based on that paid version of Google API key and again we can put here the different things like we can select the country to return address and all those things we can put here uh, yeah maybe you can just explore this see the documentation of Uncock how to use this in detail but yeah this is pretty simple so all these things would be present in Uncock documentation in detail but yeah you should know that this feature is available here and if anytime soon you want to use this the documentation is available so at least you are not uh, completely off with this right you know this like this is something region bias location is something feature available in address and we can readily use that whenever required we can just go through that documentation so that was about the address search component and the other things are let me just delete this so we will have some space here so yeah the last uh, field that we are going to cover in this video is the hidden component or the hidden field I can say so let me just drag and drop here put it in a hidden so what is this hidden right hidden field so in traditional coding languages we use uh, uh, those variables right we create those variable so in JavaScript we create the variable using let constant or var 
var right so those variable we create so in uncock if we want to create any variable so that we can do using this create sorry hidden field component so this is the variable name and the value that we want to put is this so okay so this hidden or i can just write instead of hidden i can write as uh, variable okay so now this variable is something the name of that variable and the value is test that we have configured here so this value we have hard coded here right we have hard coded that value directly here but in real time or when we will see the next uh, other things in uncock then we will see uh, like we can store our data in this variable so let's suppose we are doing an api call and that api is sending back as the response so that response data that is also we can store into this variable and use again in different operations so that is something the real-time use of this hidden component and also we can anyways create that and add our default value over here just like this so how to see this value like i need to go go here and uh, see that value right which is written here but if i want to see those values which are like which we have stored let's suppose the response is there and that response uh, data we have stored over here so if we want to see that what are the values which are uh, associated with that variable so those things are also there that we will cover in the upcoming videos because that will require the other stuff or other features of Hong Kong that we haven't covered so it will be not understood now if i explain you that so in the upcoming videos we will cover that uh, okay i think uh, with this we have covered this secondary fields so maybe you can just go through that from your end and see uh, and also you can just go through the uncock documentation okay so that's it for the two days or like this video uh, we'll just go with the other stuff which is uh, display and layout in the upcoming videos so stay tuned for the further videos. Thank you.